shares and dividends. In financial maths, shares are small fractions of the ownership of a company. So a company is shared between the shareholders and when the company makes a profit, the profits sometimes are shared out per share. So the people who own small bits of the company get small amounts of the profits. So the market price is the current value of one share. often called the market value. Most people won't own one share in a company, they'll own multiple shares. Price can go up or down depending on the demand for a share, how many people want to buy it or sell it, how people think the company is going to go. If they think the company will do well and make profit, the price might go up per share. Dividend. When a company makes profits, sometimes the company choose to, chooses to divide those profits between the shareholders. So for every share you own, you get a small amount of the profits. How much you'll get for a dividend depends on how many shares there are and what profit is being divided up. So if there's a thousand dollars profit and 500 shareholders, a thousand divided by 500, everybody would get two dollars per share as a dividend. Dividend yield is approximately what percentage return you're getting on your investment. So like your interest rate really, because you've had to spend money to get shares, you want to get some money back. It is found by doing the dividend per share divided by the market price times 100 to find the percentage profit you're making. brokerage. People don't usually buy and sell shares themselves. They pay a broker who does the deals for them and the broker charges a fee, a percentage fee of the total sales that they do for you. The total dollar value. So if you buy shares for $1,000 in total, you'll pay a certain percentage of that $1,000 to your broker. And the price to earnings ratio is the price of a share, so the market price, divided by the annual earnings per share. right price per share. Sorry about my messy writing there. So basically this is how much are you paying per share to earn one dollar? So basically a higher number on this means that you're paying more money to earn a dollar. So it's less good value. Less value for money when you get a higher number on the price to earnings ratio. So let's have a look at some of these. Alyssa bought 8,500 shares in a company called Symbio for $7.80 each. The company paid a full year dividend of 47.3 cents per share. So a lot of these questions are going to just be log logic. How much did the shares cost her? Well, $7.80 each, and she bought 8,500 shares. 
So we'll do our working, 8,500 times the cost per share. Grab your calculator. So that was 66300 that it cost her to buy those shares. Calculate her dividend payment. She got 47.3 cents per share and she got 8,500 shares. Now remember this dividend is in cents. You're going to have to change it to dollars either before or after you've done the multiplication. So 8,500 shares times, let's change this to dollars by dividing by 100 so she's earned $4,037.50 from the shared profits of that company this year and she still owns those shares so maybe next year she'll make a profit as well. Calculate the dividend yield. Dividend per share divided by market price times 100. So the dividend per share, remember we've got to get these both in dollars. The market price is in dollars. We'll use the dividend in dollars. Dividend per share over market price times 100. Oops. Times 100 gets it to a percentage. So 6.06%. That's not bad. To be earning 6% on an investment these days, pretty good. But your investment from shares, there's no guarantee you'll get a dividend. There's no guarantee the company will make a profit. So there's more risk. Her broker charges 1.8% on transactions. Calculate her brokerage fee when she bought the shares. So we go for how much she spent and we need 1.8% of that. That's just simply finding a percentage of a total. Remember, percentage of an amount, divide your percent by 100, multiply that by the total. Alright, so the broker has charged her over $1,000 to make that purchase. Remember, two decimal places, even though there's only one there because it's money. It's her brokerage fee. And the price to earnings ratio. So remember, that's the price per share divided by the annual earnings per share. Now, in this situation, it's quite easy because the annual earning per share is this much. Sometimes people will ask you to take out brokerage fees first, but usually that's not the case because we expect to only pay the brokerage fees when we sell them, then we'll keep them for a few years probably. And so we'll just look for this one at the price per share over the annual earnings. The earnings there is a total of 47.3% cents so remember we've got to have them both in dollars price per share over earnings so oops sorry fraction 7.8 over 0.473 16.49 might just go for 
Now remember, that was saying how much you're paying per share to earn a dollar. So basically, 16.5 dollars being spent to earn one dollar. If we were comparing this with another set of shares, the higher number is a less good deal. So, how much you're paying to earn a dollar? 16.5, but um, we're not looking at a terribly bad rate of investment there. So, that is a little overview of shares and dividends.